Thomas, thanks a lot. Their sheer numbers make them one tough household pest. But what if there were a way to get rid of all those ants and save their lives at the same time? As Orange County Bureau Chief Eileen Frere tells us, a young scientist found an award-winning answer, and it's made his mom very happy. My project is called the Defense Against Ants. Vincent Shu presents his science project to his eighth grade classmates at Fairmont Private School in Anaheim. This project is um, about how I can uh, prevent ants from coming to our homes using na all natural uh, substances. The 13 year old tested various substances, including cayenne pepper, lemon, garlic, and baby powder, to see what ants avoided. The idea came after watching his mother deal with ants around the house. His mother, a devout Buddhist who doesn't believe in killing any creature. We didn't want to kill any ants, so this resulted in we had to get paper towels and wet them a little and carry the ants one by one outside. Uh, this is the maze. In the maze, Vincent placed ants on one end and red candy on the other. In between, one longer tube and a shorter one containing the natural substances to see what might deter the ants. My conclusion after I did the experiment was that um, baby powder looked the best. His mother says the ant problem at home is now solved. I think he did a good, good job. Very, very good. I'm proud of him. The project also helped Vincent win at county and state science fairs. Out of 70,000 students, Vincent was also a semi-finalist in the National Young Scientist Challenge. He went the extra mile outside the box to just really delve into something that he thought was really important and that people could use. Vincent wants to continue helping people. He says he plans to be a doctor when he grows up. In Anaheim, Eileen Frayer, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Okay, well, it beats the paper towel method. Yeah, get one the baby one. powder. Yeah. All right. Uh, coming up here, the Dodgers prepare for their opening playoff game in New York tomorrow. Ants, but hate killing them. A 13-year-old boy has invented a humane insect repellent that really works. Al Life was live in Anaheim with a look at this young inventor. Al. Well, his name is Vincent Chu. He's an eighth grader here at Fairmont Preparatory Academy. And what he discovered could make sprays like this obsolete. So this is where the problem was, yeah. right here in the sliding glass door, yeah. right? Where hundreds of ants would invade the shoe home on a hot summer day, insecticide was not an option. We are a Buddhist. We respect all the lives, no matter how tiny it is. Mom would spend three hours gingerly picking up ants with a wet towel and freeing them outside. Her son Vincent wondered if there was an all-natural, non-toxic ant repellent they could use. I wanted to find a solution that wouldn't harm the ants and both us. That became Vincent's seventh grade science project last year at Fairmont Preparatory Academy in Anaheim. Using this tester with ants in one cup and candy in another, he watched to see if the ants would crawl through substances like cayenne pepper, coffee, cinnamon, garlic. Uh, lemon slices was the worst. But baby powder stopped the ants dead in their tracks without harming them. Vincent tried it at home, and sure enough, the ants made an about face. No more wet towels for mom. It's amazing. It's amazing. The project was a big hit at school, too. I have not seen a seventh grader really do something so simple but, but so complex at the same time and be so needful and useful to society. Vincent's project took first prize at this year's California State Science Fair, and he finished as a semi-finalist in the National Young Scientist Challenge. So you're probably asking yourself, what is it that's in that baby powder that causes those ants to go packing? Well, that happens to be a Vincent's project for this year. Stay tuned. Reporting live from Anaheim, I'm Al Naipo, Fox 11 News.